Friday the 25th of October 2024. Good morning everyone. Can you believe in two months time it is Christmas Day? Wow, this year is really unraveling at a rate of knots. This morning's devotional is a reading from James chapter 1 verse 5 and it reads, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him. Yesterday, we had a look at three of the six steps to help deal with problem solving. And so today I'm going to share the remaining three guidelines. But it's always good just to do a quick recap. Well, I need a recap as well because I tend to forget things like this. So that's more focused on me. So step number one is to pray about the problem. When the problem lands on your desk or, or in, where, anywhere in, in your lap, pray about it. Commit it to God, hand it to God, let Him work with it. Number two, step number two is to think about the problem. Why, how, who, when, and however. Step number three is to research and investigate the solutions to the problem. That's important. You cannot just tackle anything without doing any, any research. So research and investigate solutions to the problem. And so we continue with step number four, and that is to focus on the problem. Negotiation and compromise are often necessary to get people pointed in the right direction. But you also need to count the cost of each solution and weigh the relative merits of those solutions. It doesn't help to compromise or put yourself in a place where you paint yourself into a corner and then you really snook it. So step number five is also, it's, it's also unnecessary, but I sometimes find this helps me quite a lot as well, but, and it can be a winner. If nothing comes to mind or clear focus about a solution to the problem, back off from the problem and come back and fight it another day. So park it on one corner, or park it in a parking bay. Sometimes we cannot see the forest for the trees. And so taking a break, putting the problem aside for a short while is not ignoring the difficult matter of the problem, but it does give you new perspective. And that is quite surprising as well, because that may even be part of the reason why you actually have the problem in the first place. Perspective plays a huge role. We view uh, everything in life through different filters our social filters, our culture filter, filters. We view each other through different filters. Micromanaging is also dangerous as well. That's where you supervise every move an employee or even a family member makes. And that can be counterproductive and it, as it doesn't give the people any direction or challenge. So step number six is, and this is very important, learn from your problem. Someone once said that the real test of success is not the size or the number of problems that you deal with, but whether they are the same ones that you faced last year. We grow through difficulty, and I can give you a long talk about that one as well, but not today. My dear friends, problems are opportunities for growth. If we do not learn from them, they will keep on repeating themselves until we do learn from them. So don't run away from them. Embrace them, hug them, love them, work through them, and more importantly, allow God to work in the situation as well. So as we go into the weekend, there you've got six things to help you deal with problems. So may the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.